In what was possibly one of the best, but also the most tragic series we have seen all of Call of Duty League season long, guys, that being Seattle Surge versus Atlanta Phase, I could not name probably a, a more deadly duo when it comes time for this kind of storyline as well. You have Atlanta Phase, widely regarded as the number one team in the league. You have Seattle Surge, widely regarded as the worst and most broken roster this year, even admitted by their own players. Heading into the event, we all thought they were probably shocked. And, you know, yes, we've seen coach Joey Nubsey talk about how they have been improving, but not not a lot of high hopes, especially when it comes to competing against Atlanta Faze. So when you understand they took a 2-0 lead, you, you also got to understand how breathtaking, how mind-blowing that really was, and, and, and how, whether it's online play or Call of Duty League in general, this was going to be a pretty crazy series. As Seattle took their 2-0 lead, though, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a 40-minute tech pause came up. Apparently, there was so, some sort of caster outage as well, some issues on their end of things. In order to fix that, we took a 40-minute break, and as you guys can imagine, that kind of icing, that momentum loss for Seattle, it can change a lot. And unfortunately so, it did change a lot. That 2-0 lead became a 2-2 going to map 5. And a map 5, guys, which will go down, should go down in this season's history as one of the best we have seen. It goes to round 11. Unfortunately so, Surge lose a 1v2, of course, to a guy like Celian. They failed to replant it with just minuscule, minuscule amounts of time. If you guys have not seen that round, I, I highly recommend go back and watch the entire series. Ben, this is the point I was trying to make earlier. We're asking about how the cast is going. Oh, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Massive, hey. massive apologies <laughs> about the delay. Completely uh, not in our hands, unfortunately. That's the problem when you do in uh, online live forecast. Sometimes tech can fail you. Uh, we had a catastrophic meltdown of our tech. Either way, though, everything should be good. Everything should be fine. You haven't missed any of the action. Do not fear. As things stand, <laughs> Seattle Surge are still 2-0 up. You haven't missed any of the gameplay. But also amazing heartbreak for the Seattle roster who has already gone through so much. I can list so much these guys have gone through, the least of which to mention as of most recently, that being Karma also just retiring mid-season. That's the least of their worries and goes to show you how big their worries have been. And unfortunately so for these guys, it ends in a series loss. And rightfully so, a lot of these players have now taken to Twitter to be very upset. There are a few fans out there and actually a, a pretty big voice saying this is somehow rigged. I hope you guys understand. I don't think it's rigged. I don't think the league would ever do that. But I, there are some people who actually think that and you guys can think what you want but Seattle was very upset. As Octane, most importantly, he takes Twitter a few times saying, of course we wait for 45 minutes. Add that to the list of things for this year. GG's Atlanta. He continues, of effing course, bro, literally laughable at the CDL standard this year, legitimately laughable at the level of professionalism event after event. He continued to say, find me, I don't give an F, competitive integrity is non-existent. With several Call of Duty pros replying to that and agreeing with him, as we've already talked about as well, Pierce or Gunless being one of them, saying COD Esports has never had competitive integrity. Are you just now finding this out? And also Quavo from Optics saying, preach, brother. Slacked also adding his two cents, saying GG's phase, unlucky. The ways we have lost this season are so laughable sometimes. I think we've lost six map fives. We could easily be in a top spot, but here we are. Even Karma adding his two cents, saying I wonder what the tech issue was. And later when someone clarified it was actually the audio on stream having issues over map 2. They lost the casters for half a round at one point. Damon goes, oh no. Clearly insinuating the fact that just because we could not hear the casters does not mean there's any excuse to keep these guys iced for 40 or so minutes. And uh, my overall two cents on this, I, I give a huge respect to Seattle roster who is undergoing so many issues. Again, I've probably been waiting on a video for some time to break down all of those issues because that list has been growing and growing. To see these guys all of a sudden come out of the gate, compete with FaZe Clan, you gotta, you gotta understand, that's, that's pretty mind-blowing stuff. We'll see if they continue to actually improve or if this does hurt their mental. Um, at the point of me recording this, guys, matches have not started, but I assume this will be out later um, as matches are underway. So I do not know how it will affect their mental, but you know, I'm definitely curious what you guys think about this. I certainly don't think it's professional on the league side of things. You understand, though, from the Atlanta phase side, it, there's not much they can do, right? They're going to play it out, and then I do not think it was rigged, so they're going to wait it out and then play it out. So props to them for the reverse sweep and making a very entertaining series. It's just um, it's a tough one to see like this because we've already seen a slew of issues, not only with the game itself of Modern Warfare, but competitively on top of that with the league as well, and especially with everything being moved online, to see these issues and to see these issues now impact the results. Guys, you can think what you want. I know there's going to be plenty of Atlanta FaZe fans out there saying, oh, we would have reverse sweeped them anyway. And that is certainly possible. But I, I look back to a prime example of all of this, LAG. 
has had forced map forfeits two times this season in series that ended, I believe, 3-1. But that swing of things, all of a sudden going from a 1-0 uh, to an 0-1, or I think it was actually a 2-0 to a 1-1, that momentum shift can change things drastically. We will never know how much they will change things, but especially for Seattle Surge to go up 2-0. Yeah, map two was super close, but that momentum to be a 2-0 up after all of your issues against the Atlanta phase, you are one map away and all of a sudden 40 minutes cold. I think a lot of us can agree that's going to have some impact. It does not matter what kind of impact. It had an impact on this series and it was out of their control. It was on the league and that's where the issue does lie. Hopefully you guys can understand that. I'll be breaking down Call of Duty news all weekend long, guys. We got so many stories. If you're fans of other esports and gaming as well, I'll be back here for that too. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the love and support, guys. And I uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekends. All right? Drink your water. Drink your coffee. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.